Hi everyone. <clears throat> I had uh, received a question on my original King Rune video and I thought I'd try my best to walk through it and see if I can answer his question. So basically he says, can you post another video explaining how to make a nice clean supports on the version of King Rune is using of Cura? So the version of King Rune that is Cura basically I'm using Cura 15.04.4, and the reason why I'm using this version is a while back I had bought some files for RC, uh, 3D printed RC airplanes, and this is the version they recommended, and I have just used it ever since. It's worked for me. Um, sounds like this person might be having problems with supports. I'm no expert with supports. I just kind of deal with them. Um, I did finally start messing around with supports a little bit with my, uh, I have a palette, which is a multicolor device to allow you print multiple colors. And that uses an online cloud-based um, slicer. And I was having some problems with support. So I did start playing with supports on that a little bit. But back to this. So anyways, by the looks of it, these are identical. Now, I don't know if all the software and everything's identical, but they're pretty similar. Um, so for uh, look into the support Options, open ex export settings. So this is the Cura. These are basically one, two, three, four, five settings you have available to adjust. Your structure type, your overhang angle, the fill amount, the distance X, Y, and the distance Z. And I think those are self-explanatory. The so distance Z is basically how far away from the bottom of the part the, the uh, support will be. The distance X, Y is how far away from the sides. The fill mount is how dense your support's going to be. The overhang angle is what angle it'll start putting supports. And then you can ch choose a grid or lines. The grids, I guess, are really good, but they're hard to remove. So basically, the King Rune has the exact same options. As you can see here, they're identical. And I've always just left these alone. I've never messed with them. I've always had decent uh, supports with this version of Cura. But I also try to design in a way that I can avoid supports if possible. I know it's not always possible, but I try to make that part of my design process on how I'm printing it to, to minimize the support, you know, the bad look of supports and, and put them in areas that it doesn't affect the functionality or the look of the part. So the other question is, is there a way to use a newer version of Cura with the King Rune? And I think that is possible and I'll show you how I did it uh, so basically let me close these and I'll just I'll get this one out of the way so this is a King Rune version of Cura so the important stuff is is you need to you need to get your the proper G code starting G code for the slicing software so if you go to start and end G code if you go to start this is what the King Rune needs to start up properly. Uh, I will open Cura again here real quick. On the older version of Cura, there's one thing if you, you will notice is that there's an M206, which is the Z offset. That is not here in the King Rune because the King Rune uses the, the end stop as the Z, which I like. It's kind of nice. So that minimizes having to adjust that. So basically you just copy and paste the start and the NG codes into the new version of Cura. And you also have to go to Machine, Machine Settings, and you're gonna to wanna to copy these settings over to the new version of Cura. So I have done that already and I'll walk through it and then we'll do a test print and see what, what happens. We'll see if it crashes or if it, it's a, as easy as it sounds like it should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this, minimize this, minimize this. So this is the newest version of Cura 4.5. If I go to settings, printer, manage printers, because I've already added the King Rune. So if I go to King Rune, I go to machine settings. So basically what I did is I copied the start G code and I pasted it in here. Then I copied the NG code and I pasted it down here. Then I went through and went to the machine settings, which is this for the King Rune. Uh, of course it drops it. So I basically copied the King Rune settings right here and put them in the new version of Cura. The 180 by 180 by 180 heated bed. 
rep wrap. This is all at zero. Number of extruders, one. I went to extruder and changed that. The default was 2.85, so I changed that to 1.75. No offsets as far as I know. Uh, nozzle size, so close. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try a print here. Close this. I went through the settings. I didn't do anything extravagant with the supports. Now I know you can go in here and change. There's a, so much stuff you can make available on the on the setup. I do run the, a newer version of Cura at work, and it's more like this version. Uh, my furnace is coming on, so it's going to get loud. Sorry, guys. So what I've done here is I've designed something I think would be good for testing out supports. So we'll try to print this. I'm going to export this. Export, oh no, I'm sorry, not export, 3D print. 3D print, click on it. Okay, I think I might have already done this. Support test, yep, it's already there. So I'm gonna go back to the newer version of Cura. I'm gonna open files, go to my STL files, somewhere here. Support test, open. If they excuse me because I'm not used to this version. So I want to rotate it. Rotate. Look it this way. Alright, so there should be a way to view. Again, I, I, this is the first time of using this version of Cura, so I guess I'll preview it and then I'll show you my supports. I'm not really sure how to move this. Oh, there we go. So that's all the supports it's going to create. Looks like I have a raft. I don't want a raft. Skirt. There we go, I want a skirt. That was a brim, not a wrap. Okay, that's what I want. So I'm gonna save to removable drive. H. Okay, so I'm gonna eject that. All right, we're gonna swap to over here at the King Rune. So far, so good. Okay, so what I'll do is um, I'll let this print. I'll come back with the uh, results. We'll try to remove the supports and see how they come off. And we'll see if the part just prints correctly in general. All right, guys, thanks. All right, everyone. So my original idea test print was way too small, so it wasn't practical. So here's something I'm going to intentionally print so that it has to be printed with supports. So I'm going to print it on its side. This is a piece for Cosmo, but as you can see, there's supports down here. Um, so we're going to start out with supports. Support these attachment points. And then it's actually going to have supports over in here for this design. So this might be a good one to test to see how the supports come off. <clears throat> so I'm going to save this to H. Can you eject it? We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna 
watch the printer here for a minute. So the answer to the one question, yeah, you certainly can just uh, just basically copy and paste the start and stop G code and uh, make sure you get your machine settings in there properly and you can use any version of Cure that you would like. So what I'll do is when this uh, is done printing, I'll come back and we'll see how the sports come off. So we can watch this start up again. Make sure there's nothing weird going on. I did end up ordering another one of these because I've basically been using this for everything lately. I just like the ease of use. I like, you know, even though my other printers do have OctoPrint, which is nice. Um, there's something about just using a micro SD card. And what I did is I went out and bought some of those Waze um, cameras. And I actually have one here which is the 360 camera and I plan on putting the other King Rune right next to this one right over here so I'll be able to monitor both printers with one camera as that camera can rotate back and forth so it should be interesting all right I'll come back when it's done all right here's so here's that other print I will say in general the print does not look very good much lower quality than what I'm used to getting off this printer I'm gonna pull that off. As you can see, it just doesn't look very good. Now maybe it's just because I printed it in this awkward orientation instead of being flat, but on the older version of Cura, this is my print, my last print prior to this. And this is basically just off the printer like this. And this is .300. In my opinion, it looks terrific. I don't know. Something different look at how the supports come off here uh, they look kind of fused maybe I printed too hot I don't know it's, it's, it's the normal settings that I usually use so we'll see what happens here it's coming off pretty good so far till there yeah, so, I don't know. Not coming off that great. And again, I don't really know the secret sauce to uh, supports. That one came off pretty good. This little piece right here. Whoop. This piece right here. Yeah, these are coming off pretty nice on the side here. No real issues. Um, like I said, in general, I don't like the appearance of this print, but then again, I did print it in that really awkward, you know, 3D printers don't like radiuses on their side, so you see these bad steps. That's why I would much rather print this like this, obviously, in the real world scenario, but these are coming off pretty good, but I don't know. There's something about this. It's probably because of the steps in there. This, again, this may not have been the best one to try this with. And I've actually, I think I've actually removed some of the print, too. So that could be some of it. But at any rate, these supports on the side came off pretty well. I think I messed this up down here. I think I started pulling material off that wasn't supposed to be pulled off. As you can see, I've pulled more off than what's up here at the top. So uh, I would say in general, the supports came off okay. If you want to be able to run a newer version of Cura, it's simple as just transferring over the uh, settings that are within the King Room version of Cura. And you should be able, you should be good to go. All right, thanks, guys.